Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. It's the East All-Stars and the 2010s team. A look at the starting group for the East All-Stars. We've got Tatum, Anda Jacumbo out there with Markinen. Then it's Morant and it's Mitchell in at the two. Power dishes to KD. LeBron left side. And James throws it down. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Mitchell against Harden. The drive by Mitchell. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Harden, following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Harden, no good. Morant surveying the D. Pass to Mitchell. Ball movement here by the East. Five on the clock. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. I like the quality of shots Tatum takes. I mean, concentrates on taking good shots within his range. Here's Harden. Rebound by the East All-Stars. With well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy, love seeing that kind of intensity. LeBron against Tatum. Launches a three. Out of bounds. It'll go to the 2010s team. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with the East All-Stars head coach. This is a team that loves to run, and he really wants to see them do what they love. So transition ball should be the order of the day, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Oh! A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. LeBron against Markinen. LeBron kicks to Howard. Shades over Markinen. Howard can't hit. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Harden scanning the floor. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's onto Takumbo, and it's sent back by Howard. Excellent timing by Howard. He knows exactly when to jump to deny shot attempts. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Mitchell wide open. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Six points for Donovan Mitchell. Hey, defenders already have a lot to worry about with Tatum scoring. When he's making passes like that, too, watch out. Outside Durant. There's the dish to Kerr. Powered up on top. Now the pass to Harden. Here he goes. And it's good, two points. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. He's with the ball. Morant outside. On to Kumbo, a screen on Kirk. And it's Morant missing. And so James will bring it up for the 2010s team. Trailing by two, Curry. 
Markinen pulls it in. Mitchell against Curry. Here's Giannis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Son Dwight Howard. A multiple-time MVP. You know, what's really scary is that Giannis feels like he can keep getting better, and more importantly, he does the work to get better. That's good from Anadokounmpo. Free throws, good for Giannis. And so it's the 2010s team with it. Four-point game. Outside curve. Three-pointer. East grabs the miss. Giannis passes to Morant. Tatum against Durant. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Coming at you with so many ways to get his points. Tatum draws a lot of contact throughout the game. Gets himself to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. Well, Tatum is everything you want in a star. I mean, he's a talented player, surely. But more importantly, I think, is he's humble and hungry. And he's deeply invested in the team's success. So Tatum nails them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Curry on the wing. No points in the game yet for him. Howard, the pass to Curry. Just five on the clock. Harden with it. Out guarded by Tatum. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Curry. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jumper. Giannis with it. Lets it fly. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And here is LeBron. Down low. It's stolen by to Kumbo. He takes it. Look out! Bang! <laughs> oh, wow. mm, mm, mm. How about the flash by Anta Takumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Harden the pass to Howard. And slammed in by Howard. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. The East leading by six. There's the lob, and Kumbo takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. How about the springs of this guy, Anta Takumpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean... He just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Here's LeBron. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. At the line for your 2010s team, LeBron James. One shot. The 
free throw drops for James. And you know this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Giannis outside. And sent back by Howard. Now Kirk. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. And how about mixing it up inside there? Steph, still a threat. That nimbleness he has helps him to get that shot off. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. Free throw good, Curry. And it just seems like every year, Curry takes on even more responsibility for his team's success. <laughs> Stephen Curry hits them both. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Three-point lead. Giannis kicks to Tatum. Morant outside. Pass to Mitchell. Takes a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Mitchell's got nine. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He, he'll just drive right around you. The 19-foot shot. That one a little long. And here's Morant. He'll bring it up for the East. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Six to shoot. From deep. Harden grabs the miss. Pass to Curry. And stolen by Tatum. Here's out to Takumbo. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Ten points for him. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the East All-Stars. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And they're making their own luck with how hard they're playing, forcing turnovers and turning that into offense. Harden's shot is good. Um, you got to come to expect this from Hart. I mean, he'll take whatever the perimeter defense gives him, and that's the sign of a really smart play. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. And it's a completely new group for the East All-Stars. Lillard scanning the floor. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Wade against Gilgis Alexander. R. DeRozan on the wing. Sabonis sets the pick for DeRozan. Shoots over Leonard. And that one hits back iron. Anthony dishes the ball. Davis with a screen on Lillard. The offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And Davis puts it in. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA, showing you great effort that time. Gildas Alexander passes to DeRozan. Knocked loose. Leonard against DeRozan. Leonard kicks to Paul. From the top of the key, he buries it. Now just a one-point East All-Star lead. You know, Paul's really gotten better at the catch-and-shoot jump shot. It looks a lot easier for him now than it did earlier in his career. Smooth rhythm and smooth release, too. Now here's Lillard. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Siakam outside. Four on the shot clock. And they're moving it up. Here's Paul. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And the skill, the athleticism of Chris Paul shoots up the floor on a one-man mission. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the 2010s team. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. Boy, the elevated playmaking from DeRozan has been a revelation of late. An all-around threat who still feels underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. DeMar DeRozan hits them both. And so it's the 2010s team with it. They trail by one. Davis setting the pick for Wade. And it's Davis with the jam. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. Davis has gone two or three from the field. And Lillard gets to DeRozan. Sabonis is screen on Leonard. DeRozan passes to Sabonis. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Wade. And Wade slams it in. Well, you see how Wade adjusts to whatever the defense throws at him? Strong finish there. One thirty-five left to play in the first quarter. And Lillard kicks to Sabonis. Here's Lillard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Over Paul. Lillard misses. And it's Anthony with the ball for the 2010s team. Trying to get open is Davis. That one misses. Now the East will take it the other way. 54 seconds left in the first. Sabonis sets the pick for DeRozan to the inside. The jump hook. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Wayne. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And the 2010s team leads by three. Lillard outside. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Major props to Lillard there. Terrific focus to get hit on that shot and still deliver. 26 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shoots. Here's Davis, and he uses the glass on the lane. Davis has got six points. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. DeRozan with it. Sabonis' is screen on Leonard. One second left. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. The 2010 team out in front. They finish off the first quarter with a tremendous 17-6 run. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Fans, you're 
some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And for the 2010s team, guys, what jumps out so far stat-wise? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second-chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. The East trail by three. So with Rhodes on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got Howard. Duran is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Harden, and it's Curry in at the point guard. Adebayo with this screen on Curry. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Dwight Howard. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. The East All-Stars shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that'll allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Tatum, he's checked in for the East. Both free throws good from Holiday. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. LeBron with it. Now defended by Adebayo. And Howard with the stuff. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. The East trail by three. Pass to Tatum. Adebayo with a screen on KD. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And one of the more active big men in our league. Adebayo never stops working. The East All-Stars have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. First free throw is good. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Pascal Siakam. And out of Bayou. Drops them both. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Harden the pass to Curry. Three-pointer. Hands it from downtown. Curry's got the lead up to four now for the 2010s team. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. He's probably knocking it down, too. Poked away. Tries the spin move. And it's Mitchell missing. And here's Curry who brings it up for the 2010s team. James. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Harden against Mitchell. There's the pass to Autobayo. Autobayo with a screen on Hart. Here's Mitchell. And the bucket is good. Three-point play That's chance good. here for him. Oh, a fearless play by Mitchell. Sinks his shot while being fouled. And now he'll get to the line. East All-Stars haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Harden. He has seven. 
and some very quick points for him on that possession. Harden's got nine points. I think if you're defending hard, you got to take away his jump. I mean, when he has space to shoot, he doesn't hesitate at all. Here's Mitchell driving the lane. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. He could have walked to the basket. Mitchell's gone 75% from the field. Six baskets and eight attempts. Durant finds Curry. Howard with it. Harden outside. Back to Howard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. An aggressive player who draws attention. Howard is used to getting hit by the defense and plays quite well through contact. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You know what? Still a consistent double-double threat. Every game is Howard wanting to prove how valuable he is. And both free throws good for Howard. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Holiday, the pass to Autobio. Mitchell against Harden. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. LeBron passes to Harden. Howard in the post. Out of bio on him. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Dwight Howard getting a little tricky there, pulling the man with the pump fake and able to draw the foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Dwight Howard at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. And the East All-Stars call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. LeBron against Adetokounmpo. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Giannis has got 12 points in the game. Amazing to watch Adetokounmpo will these shots in. Refusing to concede to the defense. Howard dishes to Hart. Curry on the wing. Pocket four. The three. Holiday with the defensive effort. The East trail by three. This is it to Giannis. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach. The Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. This sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot.
Howard, no good on the free throw. The East trail by three. Antetokounmpo looking it over. And the dunk by Giannis. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the 2010s team. Howard at the elbow. He kicks to Hart. It's Curry outside. They grab their own miss. And it's Howard finishing it off. Such a great rebounder. Athleticism and length. Dwight Howard knows how to use those gifts that he possesses. Here's Holiday. Pass to Giannis. The 11-footer. He can't get it to go. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. Bobbed up there for Howard. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Great timing and recognition as Howard is able to go up for the alley-oop. Here's onto Takumbo, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And he makes the first. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Morant's checked in. And both free throws good for Giannis. Now Kerr. Five points in the game. Pass to LeBron. Harden outside. Outside for KD. Just four to shoot. For three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Antetokounmpo's got six rebounds here tonight. Adebayo passes to Morant. Here's Tatum. From deep three-point range. And James pulls it down. Dishes it to Curry. Harden outside. Fires the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The East All-Stars go the other way with it. The pass to Giannis. Takes it inside. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Boy, in his relatively short career, Giannis has figured out just about every way to get the ball in the basket, even with the guy draped all over it. Howard finds Harden. Tipped away. On to Nakumbo against Harden. Here's Morant. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. And the East leads by one. You know, this is what happens when you combine center size with developing point guard skills. Giannis running the offense to perfection right there. The three from Harden. That's good. He's five for nine. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> a while back in fourth start, that's for sure. Now here's Giannis. 20 points for him. No good. Shot missing. James with some nice D. And Curry has it in the corner. Bangs home the trifecta. Now it's a 5-point 2010s team lead. A three-point specialist can't let Curry get any space to fire from the corner. That's a recipe for disaster. Here's Tatum, a vial to screen. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum's got six points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. A timeout called here, the first for the 2010s team.
different look for the 2010s team. Davis has checked in for Howard. Leonard comes in for James. And Ami Takumbo subbed in for Kevin Durant. A big group substitution here for the East. Sabonis, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Lowry Marketing comes in for Antetokounmpo. Tamar DeRozan, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Passes to Moran. Sabonis' is screen on Kirk. Moran passes to Sabonis. He gets that one. Now just a one-point 2010s team lead. Excellent pick and roll action that time. Sabonis has great hands, rolls out of the screen effectively and hard, attacks the defense as the roll man. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. And yes, it's good. Harden's got 14 points. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. DeRozan in the corner. to Sabonis. Curry with the steal. Giannis kicks to Curry. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And the East has possession. It's a five-point game. Morant against Curry. Defense! 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 Now here's Morant. Not a lot of room. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Davis against Sabonis. Left side, Leonard. Markinen pulls it in. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Morant passes to Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. Sabonis gets to Gilgis Alexander. Just three to shoot. DeRozan for three. Rebound Kawhi Leonard. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 2010 team. It's up a three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got four assists in the game. Two of some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Morant. Sabonis is screen on Curry. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Nice touch there near the hoop. The East trail by seven. 129 left here in the second. Morant passes to Sabonis. Count that one. Sabonis has got six. Boy, a big body Sabonis might have range, but put him inside and let him eat. Sabonis has gone three for four from the floor tonight. Anadokounmpo finds Leonard. Back to Anadokounmpo. And he elevates for the slam. Tabata Sabonis did not like that at all. How about the flash by Anadokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. He's with the ball. Morant outside. And finished up by Morant. He puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Shock up two there. Morant's got six in the quarter. Watching Morant drive is like watching lightning move across the sky. If you blink, 
you might miss it. Moran's gone three of six from the floor. Harden outside. Basket number eight is all good. He has attempted 12 shots. The East trail by seven. The pass to Sabonis. Arkanen kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Sabonis is screen on Hart. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And that concludes the first half. The 2010 team out in front, up by seven. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. On the court for the East All-Stars, they've got Donovan Mitchell. Markinen is out there with Tatum. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Morant in at the point. Outside Tatum. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got six assists now in the game. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now. Preparing before the pass around. The East trail by four. Some solid defense there from KD. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. LeBron dishes to Hart. Passes it to Howard. Sinks that one from the post. Howard's got 18 points. Yeah, I like the fact that Howard is really good at staying aggressive when he knows he's hot. In attack mode on the offensive end. And to the Kumbo inside. He's guarded by Howard. On to the Kumbo. No good. James, the pass to Harden. Outside Curry. Doesn't go that time. Morant with some nice D. Katie against Tatum. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 2010s team. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Nice handles, tight handles, fluid handles, right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the offensive end. Morant's against Curry. Pass to Mitchell. Fires for three. And James pulls it down. But Brian's got six rebounds now in the game. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Harden. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Giannis. An easy two points on the layup. Giannis has got 22. Once Giannis gets going now, he stays hot. He's capable of putting the entire offense on his broad shoulders. And so it's the 2010s team with it. James, the pass to Durant. He dishes it to Curry. Howard kicks to Harden. Shot clock at six. Morant with the steal. Out of bounds, it'll go to the 2010s team.
And so it's the 2010s team with it. They lead by seven. Bobbed up there for Howard. Hammers the alley-oop through. Boy, that's an example of Durant's basketball IQ and awareness, both platinum level. Tatum with it. He's got nine. Durant with the steal. Curry with it. Now defended by Mitchell. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. LeBron against Mitchell. Now here's Markinen. Defense right on him. Markinen sets the pick for Mitchell. And it's off from three-point range. Has a chance to add to their lead. If they get into double digits, that would make it a huge hill to climb. The East trail by nine. And here is Tatum. There's the drive. Finds the open look, and it's on target. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. Tatum's athleticism as he drives, really impressive. I mean, just shredding the defense to pieces there. Now a timeout call by the 2010s team. A different look for the 2010s team. Wade, he's checked in for Hart. And Chris Paul subbed in for Stephen Curry. And these All-Stars also making a switch. Siakam's checked in. James outside. Back to Paul. Howard with a screen on Morant. Five to shoot. A shot by Paul. No good. The East trail by seven. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And that one's good by Giannis. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the 2010s team leads by seven. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And to the Kumbo inside. Working on Howard. And to the Kumbo inside. Discarded by Howard. On to the Kumbo. No good. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Howard controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Howard's got the lead up to nine now for the 2010s team. Cannot leave Howard alone on the offensive glass. When you do, he's making you pay for that mistake. And there's the call on Howard. That's his fifth foul. And the 2010s team making a change here. Anthony's checked in. And then for the East All-Stars. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Holiday comes in for Mitchell. And it's Damian Lillard in for Morant. Tatum finds Adebayo. Lillard against Paul. Lillard, the pass to Siakam. And it's off the back rim. No good. And KD's got the ball here for the 2010 team. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. There is no limit to where Durant can shoot from, which is what makes him really dangerous when he's got the ball in his hand. Lillard, the pass to Autobahn. Over Anthony. And another miss by the East. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Over in the corner, Paul misses the three. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Lillard, the pass to Siakam. Adebayo with a screen for Tatum. Shot clock at five. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And that one's on Anthony. An outstanding athlete for a player of his huge build. Adebayo will bang and bump with the best of them. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 2010 team. Shooting two. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And all game long, they, they worked the ball inside. It's really worked well for them offensively. Davis has checked in for James. And these All-Stars also making a switch. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Tatum. And he makes both free throws. And so it's the 2010s team with it. Outside Anthony. Davis with a screen on Siakam. Kicks it out to Paul. From the top of the key. Offensive rebound. Davis. The shot missing. The East trail by 10. Lillard outside. And such a nice move to make the basket work. And there's such an edge to Lillard's game. Dame doesn't care where he is on the court. He's going to get buckets. And so it's the 2010s team with it. Wade outside. From about 16. And he can't bank that one in. Siakam kicks to Lillard. That shot, no good. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. Here's Anthony. Rebound by the East All-Stars. Al Lillard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Chris Paul picks up that one. And known for being a clutch performer, Dame has his sights set on tight. He's a true leader with a winning mindset. Take a break. Take a break. The free throw drops for Lillard. A different look for the 2010s team. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Anthony Davis. Antetokounmpo comes in for Kevin Durant. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Chris Paul. Rose kicks to Wade. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. I like the defense's hustle, but Wade smartly turns their efforts against them and draws the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. That one misses. Hard not to be impressed by Dwayne Wade's natural ability as a scorer. I mean, he works hard, no doubt, but this guy just has a gift for finding his shot. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Rose dishes to Antetokounmpo. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, for such a young player, the razor-sharp focus of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. I mean, a muscular guy who still makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. And the 2010s team making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. Lillard's gone two for six from the floor so far. Outside Westbrook. Right side Rose. Kicks it to Leonard. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Leonard's got the lead up to 13 now for the 2010s team. Pass to Autobio. Good 
ball movement here by the East. Here's Lillard. Banked in off the glass. Lillard's got eight. And there's an edge to Lillard's game. He, he's fearless. And you can see it when he's finishing in traffic. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the 2010 team. From 18 feet away. And the jumper is on the mark. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Here's Lillard. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lillard's got eight points in the quarter. You won't find too many players with a better understanding of the pick and roll than Lillard. He runs that set to a tee. Outside Rose. Wide open shot is on the money. And the 2010s team leads by 13. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. He gets it in there. He's got 12. Productive habits pay off for Lillard. He's always working on his offense to refine his skill. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw drops for Rose. Well, I tell you what, this guy gives you everything he's got when he's out there. And that's what you love about Derrick Rose, how fierce he is as a competitor. Here's what the East is going with right now. Zabonis comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Damian Lillard. Rose against Gilgis Alexander. Adebayo with the elbow. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Kawhi Leonard. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And the 2010s team making a change here. Howard's checked in, and so he hits both. And uh, 101 left here in the third quarter. Westbrook finds Leonard. On the wing, Giannis. Howard setting the pick for Giannis. Left side, Westbrook. Adekumbo trying to break loose. And it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Giannis. And you know, Westbrook is fearless. Likes getting deep inside and finishing around the rim and plays in attack mode all the time. Adekumbo against DeRozan. Gilgis Alexander sets the screen for DeRozan. He's off from 17 feet. And so it's the 2010s team with it. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Howard with a screen on Holiday. Popped up there for Howard. It's stolen by Adebayo. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Over Rose. 11 feet out and he hits it. Gilgis Alexander's got his first bucket in this one. And it's not the highlight reel plays that make Gilgis Alexander effective. It's the little things like his lethal mid-range jumper. Boy, that was a sweet looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. On its way from DeRozan for two. And you know, Antetokounmpo is really a master at getting a hand up in the face of shooting. And so it's the home team looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. So with Davis sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got LeBron James. Curry is out there with Harden. And it's Durant. And it's Howard in at the five. Roaming the paint. Durant. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
And so he's picked up his final foul. Two. He will sit for the rest of this game. Anthony's checked in for his White House. And the first one. Already embracing his role as a leader on this team. Morant brings a strong work ethic and winning mentality to this team. Now here's Curry. For three, Durant. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got five assists in the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And with them, the 2010's team lead is cut down to 14 points now in the basket from Tatum. Curry passes it to LeBron. A deep free from Durant. And they get it back. Here's Anthony. Got a hand on it. And that's evidence that Markinen is working on his defense, and it's critical that he does so. And blocks like this show he's making good strike. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. And with that, the 2010's team lead is cut back down to 14 after they get the hoop from Sabonis. And so James will bring it up for the 2010's team. Harden outside, fires the three, trains it from beyond the arc. Harden's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the 2010's team. Here's Morant. Sabonis' is screen on Kirk. Morant kicks to Tatum. And there's the pass to Sabonis. Four on the clock. Shoots over Curry. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got four assists in the game. No question who's been in control of this game. Boy, they have really taken charge here. Passes it to Carmelo. Offline with his three. Anthony's gone one for five from the field, 20%. Inside and stolen by LeBron. In the corner, Harden knocks down the three ball. Harden's got nine points in the quarter. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. Tatum's shot is off. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. It's an 18-point game. Pass to Durant. There's the dish to Curry. And here's Anthony for three. Drills it from outside. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's foul number two for him. And the 2010s team making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Antetokounmpo's checked in for the East. Mitchell comes in for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Mitchell outside. Here's Tatum. And it's sent back by P.D. That extraordinary reach combined with good timing makes Durant a real threat as a shot block. Great teamwork actuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Tatum against KD. Looking to end the run. Whoa! Whoa! Big time! Whoa! An athletic forward who dunks it with style. He's showing off his dunking ability right there. Curry dishes to James. He kicks it to KD. Leonard, that's for two. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Durant's got three assists in the game. Morant with it. Now a timeout called by the East. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. He's killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. And you're just asking for him to drop another triple on. Here's Mitchell. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Oh. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Kevin Durant. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. KD's shot is off. Curry against Morant. Mitchell outside. Giannis sets a screen for Mitchell. Lock at six. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Curry passes it to LeBron. To the middle. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. The East trail by 21. Inside. Here's Tatum. Good. And a nice assist from Morant. Tatum's got 14 points now in the second half. I tell you, we get these explosive nights from Tatum more and more often. I mean, he's got the tools of a top 10 scorer in this league. and They're on display now. Curry passes to James. Up and in on the layup. Nine points for LeBron. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Outside Tatum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Jason Tatum. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. A different look for the 2010s team. Giannis comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Paul in for Curry. So Tatum nails them both. Craig, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. James in the post. Arkanen on him. Excellent D there from Arkanen. The three from Tatum. Good on the three-point shot. Tatum's got 25 points. You know, a focal point for Tatum early on increased the consistency from deep, and he's done that with a lot of lab work. And here is Adi Dekumbo, and Harden wide open. He shoots. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And the 2010s team leads by 19. Now Morant, Mitchell outside. Back to Morant. Yes, that goes in. And with the ball in his hands, Mitchell attracts attention, then breaks down the defense with the pass. Paul passes to James. Outside, KD. Back to LeBron. Just five to shoot. And that one drops for him. James has got six points in the quarter. You know, LeBron's a very efficient shooter from mid-range, in my opinion. I like when he takes advantage of that area of the floor. Here's Tatum. Goes back up. The shot by Markkinen. Nobody around. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Markkinen's got himself on the board with three there. 
And, and that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Paul passes to James. Now, on to Kumbo. This is to Harden. Down low. Ball against Morant. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Always one of the league's most accurate jump shooters. Chris Paul can flat out knock him down. Morant outside. Loads it up for Giannis. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. Not sure what he was thinking about with that pass. Just sailed it right out of bounds. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Giannis under Kumbo. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Harden inside the three-point line, and he nails the jumper. Harden's got 16 here in the second half. Harden, so versatile offensively. He initiates, he can play off the ball, he can beat you in transition. He's going to get his points. You can bet on that. And slam dunk by Tatum. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Paul passes to LeBron. Now here's Davis. Under the Kumbo defending. Mitchell against Harden. Kicks the ball from outside the arc. East grabs the miss. Giannis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Morant outside. Harkin in a screen on Harden. And here's Mitchell from the arc. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got rebound number eight now on the night. Now here's Harden. Paul outside. Here is Harden. Six on the shot clock. Davis setting the pick for KD. Second shot opportunity in deep. Davis drops it in. And the 2010s team leads by 20. Davis a real mismatch inside because of his skill, size, and strength. Nine feet out, and he hits the jump shot. Tatum's got 29. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Harden finds Paul. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside, Davis. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Look at AD, and you know he's taken his share of contact over the course of his career. And... Quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. And he knocks down the first one. When you talk about two-way impact on a game, A.D. might be the top guy in the league. I mean, when he's healthy, he's a menace on defense with that length and timing. And offensively, he can carry a team. And both free throws good for Davis. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Morant with it. And Davis pulls it down. 141 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to LeBron. Now Kevin Durant. Floats it up for James. And stolen by Tatum. Kumbo with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Wasted no time on that one. He's got 19. And this is what makes Mitchell dangerous. His ability to rise up immediately after catching that pass. Now a timeout call by the 2010s team. They're up by 17. We've got 123 left here in the fourth quarter. Adebayo is checked in for the East. Here's Hunter Takumbo to the left side wing. Rose kicks to Hunter Takumbo. Wade passes to Hunter Takumbo. 
Back to Wade. Davis with a screen on Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. And so Markinen will bring it up for the East All-Stars. Trailing by 17. Adebayo passes to Mitchell. Adebayo with a screen on Wade. The shot by Mitchell, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. On the pass to Giannis. Right side, Rose. No good on the triple. The shot and game clock separated by four. Mitchell against Wade. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. At the line for the East All-Stars, Idris Bam Adebayo taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And out of bio. Drops them both. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. And they should just stay with what they've been doing. Outside Westbrook. So the 2010s team wins it. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.